Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to talk to you about work contours. So first of all, I'm going to create some tasks, task A, task B, task C, and task D. And I'm going to allocate a resource to each of these. Bob, Bill, Ben, and Anne. And I'm going to make all of these 10 days, 10 days in duration. Let's pull that one down. So I've allocated resources. There's a, the actual task itself. But I'm going to go into task usage view. So you can see the work contour. So that lists all the tasks. And the default work contour is this. Flat it's called means eight hours is allocated per day for that each of these people now if I double click on Bob where you see the work contour is here in assignment information work contour flat and then you can see the other preloaded ones there now at the moment this duration for task A is 10 days if I apply a backloaded work contour which means there's more work at the end of the project than there is at the beginning. Watch what happens to that duration. I'll click OK. It applies it, so it starts off steadily building up until the work itself increases over time. But what it also does is extend the duration from 10 days to 16 days. So that's something you've got to be careful of when you're using work contours that are preloaded. Now, if I do this task, if I double click into task B and set this to be a fixed duration task, so it cannot extend, fixed duration, OK, and do the same thing, double click on Bill, change that to backloaded, so we're watching this duration, that cannot change, but it will apply the same criteria, OK, it's still 10 days, as I move forward in time, you can see that it's not filling out the, the whole extra six days. It's staying within the 10-day fixed duration task. Now the problem you've got is that the actual hours allocated has dropped, let's say, 80 to 48. So we've now got less hours allocated, but that might be okay. Another way of doing this is on Ben's line, if I just come back across, you might want to manually set this rather than doing one of these preloaded work contours. So one of these, you might want to do it yourself, which I think is probably quite common. The, these ones that are preloaded are, are for projects that maybe are quite a long project and you've got no idea how long the time will be, but you want to put some sort of methodology on it. So looking forward, you can use the work contours. Now this one, I might just say, OK, we're going to start off with four hours. Four hours on this one. Go on the right one. Four. Pull that back to eight. So just four. And then it might do nothing. Nothing. Two. 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 And then leave the other two on the eight. So you've actually selected in there how the actual time is going to be for that task by just typing stuff on this line for Ben. And it says it's not it's not 80 hours, but maybe that's correct. It's not 80 hours. That's what it would be as a flat contour. This one is reduced to 48 because we tailored it. Um, we restricted it by setting it as a fixed duration. This one. We haven't created or selected a pre-established work contour, but we're doing ourselves and it's telling you there it has been edited. That's us editing it. Now that one's come up with the same thing because I accidentally typed on the wrong line. But same sort of thing there. You could adjust that one for Anne and it comes up with an edited work contour. Now these work contours, if I just double click back into... That should be Ben, I've overtyped it. If I just double click back into this one, Ben. These are not just random 
amounts of time that are allocated to a task. They have got set figures that they use, set percentages that they use. So if I just show you what that is in a Word document that I've got open. So the flat, which is the default, is basically 100% all the way across. And then you can see how it works in terms of each of these work contours, how it's doing the, how it's coming up with the time that it applies. And obviously, like you've, I've already said, that you can change to, to, to suit your own need. You don't have to apply these. Let's go back to this. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, is how you create a work contour, how you select a pre-loaded work contour, and how you edit a work contour yourself. Hopefully this little video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.